Hi everybody, it's Tina here from Hummingbird Tales. Um, I've got a little something um, hopefully exciting for you all today. This is my giveaway challenge. I was going to do this at the beginning of the year, but because there was quite a few challenge giveaways already happening, um, I didn't want to put any pressure on anybody and it's quite quiet at the moment on YouTube in our journaling community. So I thought, why not do it now? It's coming to the end of the summer holidays. Autumn is on its way. So this is what I've got on offer. I've made two of my journal. These are mini journals in fabric bags, which I will show you in a moment. And here's another one. So this is going to be prize one and two. And what I'll do for a prize number three is I'm going to put together a package of some happy mail, um, some fabrics, laces, bits and pieces like that. So if we start with this one, these have been made with sari silk, um, lots of eyelash trim. They're very textured. There's ruffles on here, there's lace, there's creepy cloth, all kinds of things. And what I've done is, this is also a design team project, so I thought I'd combine the two for Artie Mays. And this is using her freebie kit that she issued back in the spring, I believe, as a thank you to everybody that follows her and that's a member of a Facebook group. So what I will do is I will put a link below to Artie Mays, um, where you can join her Facebook group or get onto the Facebook group and download the freebie. It um, entailed lots of um, roses and it was in pinks and like coffee colours and creams. So that's what gave me the inspiration for this because I really wanted to do a project with this anyway. So on here we've got a handmade little fabric tag made out of a snippet of the same material that the bag's made of and this one says make today amazing and I've got a boho bead here that I've made which speaks for itself and this is clipped on with one of these little pins so if you want to remove it you can. On the front here I've made a very shabby flower and I've sewn little sea beads there for the middle and it's got a popper that keeps it all together and the inside of this one I did line. So let's get into this journal. So this is one of, I made some little mini journal kits not so long ago and people you know very kindly bought them and I had quite a few people also asking me if I was going to sell some more. So that's why I also decided to make a couple for the giveaway. So it gave you a chance to perhaps win one. So this is what this one has got. Now I've used all of Artie Mays' images from her Victorian beauties and I think it's Victorian ladies or Victorian children. I can't quite remember, but again, I will put below in the description what I have used. Also in here, I have used some of her ticket oddments kits and some of her ephemera. So on the front here, We've got lots of layers of cheesecloth, doily, little flowers with all these different gems. Up here, there's a little clip with a butterfly. I'll bring it up a bit closer so you can see. Butterfly charm there. It says she dreamed beautiful dreams. And I've got tiny little pink flowery bits just to give it a little bit of pink. And there's a mother of pearl button here. And it's tied with some pink sari silk which comes off like that. It's, this stuff really does fray, but it is beautiful. So I have embellished these. I haven't gone over the top because I still want people to be able to do their own thing. But in here, we've got one of these little jewelry clips and I've layered up some laces in the col contrasting colors that are going throughout this journal. There's a weeny weeny little tag here with a rose I stamped on it. And this is one of the tags that you get free in Artie Mays's kit. So that's in that fabric pocket. I've done lots of stenciling, stamping throughout. Um, there's decoupage and I've gessoed 
on the pages as well in various places to give it more texture. So here we have more stamping. This is a collage page. Again, this is one of Artie Mays's um, images and there's lace, there's some butterflies with gems and down here there's a little hidden pocket with a little tiny tag that's been decoupaged on for you to scribble on. And on the side here I've got a dangle. Now I've actually got three of these beady dangles if I just find them. So you've got one there, one there and one down here so that it goes throughout the journal. Okay, so there's a bead dangle there. We've got washi tape, some more stamping. Here I've got a little tuck. No, it's not. I beg your pardon. It's a, <laughs> I did put a tuck in one of them. It's an altered paper clip. Make sure you can see, sorry, that. Altered paper clip. And that's clipped in this envelope that I've made or altered. One of Artie Mays' images, curiously. This is a real stamp and it's been decoupaged and stamped and stencils and all you can think of. And this is one of the pages from the kit. And I've done this by basically coffee dyeing the paper. This is done on copy paper after it came out of the printer and it makes it run a little bit and looks quite old. So that goes in there. Whoopsies. We've got corset stamps. There's some punching done down the side. Here I've done some stamping, decoupage here. And on this page, we've got some little birds. That's washi tape. And there's a little pocket there. And in behind, we've got one of these images from Artie Mays. And this is one of her ephemera pieces that I've shrunk down. And here I've got a glassine bag that's been decorated with some lace and some cheesecloth. There's a Tim Holtz miniature little bulldog clip here. So I'll just clip that off onto there. And inside here, if I can open it. Sorry, guys. It is quite fiddly because it's quite tiny. But I've got a little matchbox, um, matchbook thing that I've made. This was inspired by Laurie Fusco. I have already had this up on Instagram. It says within my heart there, there's a couple of embossed roses here, some weeny weeny butterflies with gems, one of Artie Mays' pictures, and then this opens up. If I can open it. And inside, I've actually kept the paper loose so you can pull it out. And there's a few tickets from Artie Mays' um, one of her kits. So that's that. Next page, more decoupage. This is another paper clip up here with some bits of ephemera that have been shrunk down. Real stamp with some stenciling and some stamping. And on this page, we've got another um, collaged piece with um, this lovely little girl. She's one of my favorites. And there's lots of bits of old doily here, paper corner of your heart and if I just pull that paper clip back inside here you've got another tag this was made out of one of the tags in the freebie kit and it's got a little pocket here which is also in the freebie kit and I made a little tag out of another piece of the kit so that goes in there I'll just stick that there so I know where it goes more lace along the edge washi tape stamping so there's plenty of room in here for you to decorate or write. This is um, a stamp that I've embossed of a corset. And here we've got a little mini pocket. There, these roses have been embossed. You can't really see it on here, but they are shiny. And there's a tiny weeny little picture of one of the images from Artie Mays that I've made a little envelope here. And inside that... These also came from her kit and I've just layered up a butterfly and some bits and pieces. There's a tiny weeny ticket on here and some fluff there. That goes back inside. And behind we've got another image 
from Artie Mays. So we've got the other little beaded gem here. And this page has also been punched. I will hold this bit up a bit higher for you. This is the centre of the signature. Oops, I've bent my butterfly back again. Sorry about that. Right, so on here I've got butterflies on the strings with some beads. And they've also got gems on the butterflies. And here we've got Rita Donnelly flip up pockets, flip down. Try this one. There we go. And again, I've got some little tickets in here from Marty Mays. And this is a tiny weenie tag that I've made from one of the tags in her kit that I've shrunk down. And that's one of her images. And there's a little embossed butterfly there. Andrea's been showing lots of different work that we can do with our embossing powders. So I've been using them on elements in this little journal. Now I'm going to make sure they don't crumple up this time. So there's more decoupage up here. Here we've got another altered paper clip and this is holding in some tickets. Again, this is from Artie Mays' Oddment kit. One of the images, sorry guys, it is all a bit fiddly. One of the images from her um, Victorian Beauties and that's in a glassine bag. Now all of this comes out, I pull that ticket so you can move it where you want and inside the glassine bag is a little tablet of paper and that's been tied with a little bit of seam binding so again you can take that off and put more in if you like. On the other side what was also being held in by that paper clip is a piece of Tim Holtz ephemera. More stamping, stenciling, down here I've got a little piece of chain with a butterfly hanging, washi tape. Here I've got a loaded pocket. And that's one of the tickets from the kit. I've kept that quite basic. And then here there's just little bits of different ephemera. Some of it is Tim Holtz, some of it is Artie Mays, just to give a bit of interest. That's Artie Mays. That's Tim Holtz. I think that's Artie Mays. Artie Mays. And that's a picture from Pinterest. It's one of my favourites. So I've included that as well. And on this page, we've got another layered pocket. This pocket is made of lace. And this is also one of my favourite pictures. And this is from Tsunami Rose. This actual one was. It says, my grateful heart. There's a little bronze rose hanging off here and here you've got a journaling card which is from the kit and I think I made that out of a page from the kit. Turn that over. On this side we've got another little pocket that I've made. I've decoupaged on here. This little butterfly has been embossed and inside I've got another tiny little tag that I've layered up um, with some cheesecloth and some embossed Butterflies, these are all from Artie Mays, and this is one of the tags from the kit, from the freebie kit, and this is also one of the tags from the freebie kit. Punch side. So it pretty much speaks for itself. I love this little page. There's a little bit of um, lace there if you wanted to hang something off it. Here's another um, collage page with another little girl from one of Andrea's kits. Sorry, a bit of fluff there. And in here, we've got a little pocket. This says, find your loveliness. And this is a tiny weeny envelope that I've made. It says, little things. And you open it. And inside, I've got a tiny weeny piece of paper that's been gessoed and stamped and stenciled. And there's some tiny weeny butterflies on there. Whoopsies, let's fold that flat. And we're coming to the end, the last page. I've got a little pocket here on this fabric pocket. And inside I've got a little clip, which has got several little tickets and things that have been put together with a brad. And another piece of ephemera here. 
and in the back here I've got a little tag book that I've made again with all bits and pieces from the freebie kit and oops sorry that's the back and this has just got paper inside that's been coffee dyed and tea dyed and there's a little bit these are from the kit beautiful kit lots you can do with it so that's the first um, journal the second one it's quite similar again I've got this bag that I've made I've got bigger beads in the middle here on this tag it says life is beautiful and this is the um, boho bead on there again this has been made the same way as the other one and there is a popper this one I didn't line well I did line it but I still left some of the stitching on this one so I didn't cover up the stitching on that one and this journal has got a piece of cream sorry silk holding it together this is um a lot wider than the other one I don't know if you can see the difference in sizes there and this one has got a dragonfly up there instead of a butterfly again you've got a mother of pearl button down here it's been layered up with all sorts of goodies lace flower embellishments and this one says the stars are always shining and this is actually from Pinterest it's one of my favorite images so in this book, it's very similar to the other one. So you've got a pocket here with the same little cluster hanging off there. And in the pocket there, you've got one of the tags from the kit. And again, stamped and stenciled, decoupage, a decorated page with lots of collage. And down here, I've got a little tiny pocket. And in here, we've got some little, sorry, tickets from the tickets kit and there's a little tag that I've made and that rose has been embossed. Here we've got one of the dangles on this one. And again, the same sort of thing. There's a little tuck spot here that you can put something in. And on this page here, we've got the little glassine bag that's been decorated. And in the back, we've got an image of this lovely lady and some of Artie Mays' ephemera. And then we open up the little bulldog clip. And inside this bag, we've got another little matchbook, but this one is different. I'm just moving some of the fluff. So this says my open heart. And I've got this little picture, which is in the other journal. And we open this up. And again, we've got loose paper and a couple of tickets in there. This page here I've just decorated with lots of collage and it says know that I am home or I know that I am home. So as we go through again you will see that there's lots of decoupage, stamping, stenciling, places to write, trim along the sides. Here I've got another one of these little pockets that I made and we've got a butterfly hanging off this part here with a chain. And here we've got another little handmade tag using a tag from the kit. There's a piece of ephemera there and another tag from the actual freebie kit. Decoupage. I had loads of fun making this. It was it was lovely to make these journals and to just give them a bit of embellishing. There's another little dangle charm there I've made. And on this page, we've got this lovely little girl. Again, I've layered it up with all sorts of goodies, all her dreams. And this is another one of those tags from the kit with the little pockety bit. And I made this out of one of the pages. That's in that glassine bag there. This is the centre of the signature and just like the other one, you've got butterflies on the um, strings with beads that go with the actual theme of this. I've got little, sorry, flip up pockets there and we've got ephemera, we've got tickets 
and some more little tags that I've made by collaging bits and pieces from the images kit and the freebie kit, sorry. There's that one. I'll just leave it all out and put it all back in a sec. So the idea is I wanted this to look quite old. Another lace pocket here with a dangly rose charm. This says this heart of mine and in here we've got this journaling card. So there are quite a lot of similarities with these little journals, although they have got differences as well. And here I've got a ticket and a little picture, ephemera, a tag from the kit. We have another altered paper clip here and we've got some tickets, another little image there and inside the little tablet of paper into a little notepad, same as the other one. Life is beautiful, We've got a mother of pearl little charm there hanging off this. And this has been made with the doily and some cheesecloth. And inside we've got a little tag book. This one opens the other way. And that's made with paper, coffee dye paper and paper from the kit. And then we carry on. You can see the gesso, it makes it feel lovely. And here I've got um, another altered paper clip holding in this envelope that I've made for this journal. So I didn't make the envelope, I mean I altered it. This lovely little girl on here with this piece of doily, a real stamp. And inside that, just like the other one, I've got some paper that I've stained up from the kit. That's a real stamp there. And then on the back of this one, I've got this little tuck spot. And in here, we've got another of the little envelopes, another of these little um, taggy things with the brad and some bits of ephemera. And this is all from Artie Mays. And that's one of her pictures as well. So that's the giveaway prizes. And like I said, what I will do is probably um, do a third prize of some goodies. And this is what I want you to do. So the giveaway challenge starts today, Wednesday the 19th of August 2020. And it finishes on Monday the 19th of October 2020. So that's eight weeks. But what I will say is if there are people in different countries, because this is open to anybody in the world, and you want to send something... And it's going to be a little late. You know, I might put a little extension on just to cover for that. So the idea is if you could please make me something of your own design or style for me to put into a journal. It's quite simple, really, like journaling card, pocket, tuck spots, whatever, whatever you decide. Please do not feel that you have to make um, pages because I know that they do take a long time. And I want this to be fun and I want you to enjoy it. Um, if you want some ideas of the styles that I like, um, particularly I love nature, botanicals, fairies, vintage, shabby vintage, pretty much anything like that. So um, if you're stuck for ideas, go for one of them or go for your own sort of idea. And I will put my email address in the below details on this film. And if you contact me through email, I will give you my home address so you got the address to send it so please please join in with this challenge giveaway this is my very first and uh, I am nervous because I haven't done a challenge giveaway before I hope you feel that the prizes are worthy um, you know as prizes for this giveaway challenge and I just want to wish you all good luck and uh, take care and uh, look forward to speaking to you again soon bye for now bye